Hollywood has taught us to keep our electronics away from the bathtub. However, is that hairdryer really such an electrifying threat? Or is this just another example of a Hollywood myth? I caught up with CSU physics professor and Little Shop of Physics director Brian Jones for the answer. How are you doing today, Brian? Doing good, and you? Great. Um, today we're going to debunk the common misconception that you can electrocute yourself by throwing a hair dryer into a bathtub. Now we're going to do a couple minor experiments beforehand just to explain the process. Um, why don't you go ahead and get started? You bet. Brian explains how electricity works. Electricity always has to flow through a circuit. When you plug something in, okay. in the outlet, there's two holes. One of them is a hot wire, one of them is a neutral wire. Mm -hmm. Now the neutral wire right here is actually connected to the earth. It's grounded. And you're connected to the earth. You're grounded as well. Okay. And that's where the trouble lies. So I'm going to turn this switch on here. And I have two wires here. And these are the same two wires in an electric outlet. And they're connected to this light bulb. Okay. So this outlet is live. Okay. But I want you to grab this wire right here. All right. Here I go. And what you feel is nothing. Nothing. That one's grounded and you're grounded. There's no okay. voltage across you. So this wire, totally safe. And this wire is totally safe because these are both the neutral wires. They're both connected to the earth and so everything's cool. Now, next up, we're going to do this light bulb right here. And this light bulb, we're going to plug in and turn on. And it's connected to a special plug here. And this is a ground fault interrupter. And the two wires that are connected to this lamp are connected right here. So this is my hot wire. This is my neutral wire. Okay. And I'm going to take these two wires and I'm going to stick them inside the fish tank. And these are live. This is a live electric wire. The ground fault interrupt, or GFI outlet, is the most important part of this experiment. When it senses a potentially dangerous situation, it will immediately shut off all electricity. Okay. Next, I want you to put your hand inside. You're going to put my hand inside. I want you to put your hand inside the fish tank. Okay. And I'm going to put two live electric wires inside there. And they are live because they're connected to this light bulb. All right. I'm trusting you. Here I go. Hand inside the tank. Thankfully, for my sake at least, we are once again without electric shock. Now, what about that hair dryer? So we take this and I turn it on. Okay. By the way, I've never done this before. It's well, then the it's your hand that we're going to stick in the yeah. water. As you may have already noticed, at the end of your hair dryer sits a GFI outlet. So I'm in the tub, and All this right. will be the same thing as if I'm in the tub. Okay. And so hand in water. Hand in water. We've got a running hair dryer, and I'm just going to plop this in the water. Take it. And Hand okay. it by the cord and we're going to get right. the electric connection inside there. Best luck to you. And no jolt? <laughs> nothing? No, nothing. I felt nothing. I guess we've <laughs> We ruined the blow dryer, that. but besides that, we didn't ruin me. We so. didn't ruin you. That was the important part. As a discloser, this was all made possible by the GFI outlet. Do not try this on appliances with that one or expect a very electrifying result. In closing. You won't lose a hand, but you will lose a good hair dryer.